What's going on guys, this is Chandler Smith and today I'm gonna to be talking about why I use a management company. And I'm gonna be telling you that after having experienced managing my properties on my own and using a management company that now I love. And so the way that I wanna explain this to you is by sharing a story with you. And this story is of my first property ever. The first property that I bought was actually a condo. I purchased it for $70,000. And this condo had two bedrooms and one bathroom. And the day that we closed on it, I was all ready to roll. I had it all listed on Craigslist. I had a bunch of people coming through, dozens of calls. And after showing it to literally dozens of people, I found tenants that I just loved. Now that being said, there were two tenants that I loved. So I had to make the hard decision, but I picked the one that I thought was best after not having ran a credit check, not checking income, not doing anything with their backgrounds, but I felt good about them. So I threw them in there. Within a week, I got a call of them saying, look, the drain's clogged. So I go, I show up to the property, and there was this ton of hair clogged up in the drain. So I spent about an hour getting that out. Once I finish with that, the tenant says, hey, also, the, uh, the toilet's making this weird noise. I'm sure you've heard it, and I had. So then I tinker around with the toilet, and then they tell me the sink's dripping. Now, this is all in the first week, all right? The next couple weeks, I was getting pretty consistent calls of stuff that was happening, of crap that I had to go take care of. And I'll have you know that this property I was renting for $690. On top of that, I had an HOA fee of $120 a month, so my numbers were already tight. And I started doing the math and I was thinking to myself, holy cow, I'm getting paid $2 an hour for this work that I'm putting in and it's taking forever and it's super overwhelming and super frustrating. And I think all too often, people finally get up the courage to invest and then they go through the same thing that I went through. So one of the big reasons that I made this video is first of all, to help people in that situation get through those first couple months and recognize that, hey, this is where I should put my money. This is what I should do. But there's definitely gonna be a learning process to it. And if you're managing your own, I'm gonna tell you now, it's gonna be frustrating and it's not gonna feel like a good use of your time. Now, with that being said, I am so grateful that I did manage my own property for a little while because I understood everything that went into it. I understood how valuable it was and I understood the expenses behind it so that when I was looking for a management company, I had the right questions to ask, I knew what I was looking for, and I knew what I could expect. So first off, I want to explain the pros of not using a management company. And the biggest pro is first of all, you're in it. You know exactly what's going on. You know exactly what you're spending money on. You know the current problems. You know the current rents. You have control over selecting your tenants. You really get to control everything involved when you're managing it on your own, which is really nice. On top of that, you do get to save all of the money that you would be spending on a management company, which is great. So if you're tight on funds and you feel like you're still pretty uneducated, I promise you jumping into managing a property on your own will give you an incredible education. And still to this day, even though it was frustrating, I'm so grateful for the experience I had going through that because I understand what all goes into it and then I was able to ask the right questions when I was looking for a management company of my own. Now you'll notice that my list of pros for managing is there, but it's not gonna be nearly as long as my pros or advantages of using a management company. And the biggest reason for that for me is I want my properties to be an investment. I want them to be passive income I don't want them to be another job and another stress in my life. I'll get maybe one call a month or every other month if something big happens on a question for my management company. But other than that, they're a machine that runs on their own because they know exactly what I want done. So I don't have to stress it. It truly becomes passive income for me. 
And the story I wanted to share to show you this is last month, I had a property. It's one of the units in my eight plex that we actually flipped over to a vacation rental. And so with it being a vacation rental, we've got new people coming in every single week, sometimes every couple days. And what had happened is one of the tenants was in there on their little vacation for a couple days and somehow behind the fridge, the pipe or the connector had broke so that everything flooded. Now, when I say everything flooded, I'm not talking like a drip. I'm talking somehow it was just spraying everywhere. So the water had gotten up on the countertops, up on the walls, up on the table that we had just purchased to spruce up this vacation rental. It had seeped over and destroyed all of the floorboards. It had worked its way up into a lot of the sheetrock. It had ruined all of the carpet. And because we had it sitting there for three to four days, it had started to accumulate a little bit of mold. It was stinky, it was disgusting, it was soaking wet and I was in LA on vacation with my wife and I had to do nothing to deal with it because my management company were the ones that were worried about the fact that we had new tenants getting in there in two days. My management company was the one that knew they were in charge of it and responsible for getting it fixed and my management company was incentivized to do it quickly because they're getting paid a percentage of those rents just like I am. And so it was so awesome because while I was relaxing in LA with my wife, they were dealing with this nightmare of a job and finding subs and fixing the walls and ripping out the carpet, replacing the carpet, getting a new fridge in there, dealing with all of this stuff that my insurance was covering while I was relaxing. And I get a call that said, hey, it was a nightmare, just wanted to let you know so the insurance people can come and we can get things squared away, but we got everything taken care of and we got it done in time to get that tenant in there. So we didn't lose that thousand dollars of income they were gonna bring for that three to four days. And that is the biggest reason I love a management company is because for me, it was a single phone call for a couple minutes where if I would have been managing that on my own, I would have lost thousands of dollars due to the fact that I couldn't keep that filled and it would have been a total headache and stress almost every single hour of the day for a good 48 hours and I didn't have to worry about it. One of the biggest advantages of using a management company is on the liability side of things because they're the ones that have all of their leases put together for all of your tenants. So they've done the research, they've met with their lawyers, they've made sure that the leases are done properly to protect them and you. They also are the ones that are putting tenants into your building. And so they're the ones that are gonna deal with the credit checks, they're gonna deal with the background checks, with finding the income, and they're incentivized to find the best tenants because they're paid on a percentage basis. So they don't want vacancy either. They're gonna be working super hard for you if you find the right one to keep your place filled and to keep it filled with good people. On top of that, they're going to deal with all of the phone calls. They're gonna deal with all of the hassle that tenants bring, not only in finding tenants and in going through that weeding out process, but then once the tenants are in the property, they're the ones that get to deal with the midnight calls because there's a clogged toilet or with the calls that the tenants are fighting with the attendants across the hall from them. They're the ones that need to find a responsible plumber or responsible electrician to deal with any of those maintenance issues. They're the ones that are gonna deal with all of it so that when crap does happen or when you do have to kick someone out of the property or when you have to raise rents or when you have to deal with complaints, all of those things fall in the management company. So instead of you getting involved in the human experience of dealing with those problems, you can know that it's a passive income investment for you so that you just know what's gonna get taken care of and you don't have to get so emotionally attached and involved and liable for all of those things. I'm a total sucker for dealing with people to where 
I would make decisions that would destroy my bottom line. And when I say destroy it, there's a good chance I wouldn't even make money because I'd constantly be giving in to tenants and taking rents late. And I know that because I experienced it and it was really hard. And that's why when I made the transition to a management company, it was so nice to know that it was a good investment for me, that I knew I was gonna get my desired returns and I wasn't going to have to deal with all of the emotion that's involved in dealing with people for such a small amount of money. At the end of the day, I know that there are a lot of you that are going to say, no Chandler, I wanna manage mine on my own. I know I can do a better job than a management company. I can up my rents better. I can deal with all of that stuff. But you need to recognize that you're not investing. This isn't a passive income for you. This is just you biting off another job and another stress that probably is going to pay you less hourly than whatever other job you had in order to create the income to get this investment property in the first place. And so if you really want to invest, if you really want to create a passive income for yourself, manage them on your own with the intention of moving over to a management company. Because I promise you, whether it's now or later, you're going to want to get a management company so you don't have to deal with the headaches, so that it truly does become a passive income for you, and so that you can have that financial freedom that you invested in this property to get to begin with. And a lot of people are pushing pennies saying, no, I can do it on my own. But you look at this condo that I bought and all of the stresses that I've explained that I went through those first couple months. And when you sit back, you recognize that on a property that was making me $690 a month gross, even if you're paying a management company 10%, which I think you can get less than that, that's only 69 bucks for you to avoid all of the stresses, all of the headaches, and everything else. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you didn't enjoy it, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see different, what you'd like to hear more about, what you disagreed with. I will respond to every single comment that you put because I really wanna know what you guys want so that I can create the right videos moving forward. Thanks so much and have a great day. I just interviewed Jace, the one that manages my properties for me. And so just in a couple seconds, he shared all of the crap he had to deal with just for my properties in this month. Uh, like 60 seconds, what all have you done this last month when it comes to my properties on fixes, issues, problems? In the last month? <laughs> oh man, I have to think about that one. I replaced two faucets at the Aplex, replaced two doors, replaced some door locks that were not working, interior and exterior, mowed and edged every property, fixed sprinklers at Grandview, sprinklers at the Aplex, uh, cleaned the VRBO four or five times. Didn't we have two floods too? We had a flood too. We flipped in one, in one night, we flipped the flood. And now we've done all the trim in that pay apartment. It's all done, all new trim. So trim, carpet, 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 everything in 24 floor. hours. Why'd you get it done so fast? We got it, we had a rental. <laughs> Five days <laughs> with the vacation rental. rental. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I knew about. I never know about these till the end of the month when <laughs> you tell me you had all this work done and it was still cheaper than what I was planning on. There you go, so yeah, Curtis, that was all on Curtis. A water heater had to fix an element. That was actually was pretty easy, so we we're lucky. Um, I think that's it. Cool. I think that's it. Wasn't a bad. This month hasn't been bad.